Hello everybody, I'm Joshua and welcome to this Sims 3 house remodeling video. Now today I am remodeling a house in Sunset Valley called Peeps Peak, which was originally occupied by the Bunch household. Um, and uh, right here I'm just renovating their house. Um, now this house, um, with this remodel, I attempted to make it all base game and I did do that. So the remodeled version is all base game, so no matter what you have in your game, you can download it and it will look exactly the same as uh, I intended it to look, which is very good. Now the last remodel I did, which was Americana, um, was supposed to all be base game as well, but um, like when you filter for just base game with The Sims 3, um, store content also shows up, so a few store items slipped through on that one. But with this one, it is fully base game. Um, so that is all good and handy. So already I've um, settled on the shape of the house that I was going to go with and you can see here I'm um, choosing the colors. Uh, I go with a pretty basic color scheme. It's really like brown and white on the outside. Uh, I also have some bright green accents um, to add some interest. So right here I'm just doing the windows and some of the um, green bits you see are coming in right now. There they are. Um, I go through a different, few different shades of green. That one's a bit shocking, um, but you know the green just added a bit of uh, spice to the outside. I guess it made it look a bit more interesting. And um, here I'm doing the siding and just changing that to white. Um, so the original house was four bedrooms, and the final one is the same as well. Um, when it comes to the floor plan, I kept the first floor very similar, but I moved the master bedroom to the third floor to the second floor. So that kind of changed up the second floor floor plan quite a bit. Um, but, you know, it's pretty much the same size house, I think maybe a bit bigger. Um, I also add um, a very nice backyard, I add a pool in the back as well, so that is definitely an upgrade from the original house. So um, right now I'm putting in the front door, which is right there, the same green as the um, accent panels on the outside. And right now I'm working on the floor plan, so I'm just putting in the staircase right now, so you can see it there. Um, and up here I'm just changing up the floor plan as I said I would. So I'm pretty much starting from complete scratch on the second floor. And a little spiral staircase um, up to the third floor. And um, there we go, there's the three bedrooms. Um, a large one at the far back is the master. And I also add a master bath in later. So right now I'm just completely scrapping the old backyard. Um, I add an addition out the back here off the living room, which becomes kind of like a study area. Um, and right here I'm just expanding the back deck, uh, as you can see. Or really, uh, yeah, I guess it's a deck. Um, and adding some balconies on the second and third floors, which is quite nice. I also add a giant pool out the back as well, um, which is coming up later. So right now I'm just finishing off the exterior um, colors, um, doing the siding around the sides and the back, making it all nice and white. I do like the way this house turned out. The original house was quite horrifying, to be honest. Um, as you'll see at the end, I have some before and after pictures. Um, and yeah, it, it didn't look very good originally, so I'm quite happy with how this one turned out. And um, you can see here I'm doing some trellises up on the third floor and the second floor. And um, continuing the siding around the side of the house and um, over the carport. And uh, I'm going to start work on windows, I believe. I'm not actually sure. No, yeah, it's stone. The brick, I changed the color of the brick. Um, not that big a deal. And... Um, so there's uh, little fences or railings on the top levels. So here we go with windows. Um, nice large windows here off the living room area um, on all sides. And we're just deleting all the furniture in the old living room. Um, there is a fireplace in the living room. I just moved it over a bit. And um, there it is, looking quite nice. And um, here I'm just getting rid of that kitchen. I mean, just look at that. Did you see that? That was bright yellow and olive green. Oh, God. That was disgusting. Um, so don't worry. I do fix that up. Um, yeah, so just adding some windows and doors out the back, and there's some windows there. That's going to be the master bedroom, and I'm um, adding a little stage tool using this, well, not adding a stage tool, I'm using the stage tool um, to create a stage along this uh, part of the house on over this roof um, to make a flat roof, which I quite like. I like the black and the white. I think it looks quite nice. Um, so here I start adding some black around the place. Um, I added on the uh, fences on the third floor balconies as well. And um, just adding the siding inside the carport and um, adding an extra car parking space. Um, I'm not, I guess it would work. I used Movex on to shove them in there because um, they were a little bit, not enough room for two, so they kind of overlap, but it should still work just fine. So, right here, I'm just finishing off the chimney and changing the color of all the brick um, yet again. And I'm just adding in some more windows. Um, I kind of change up this wall here in the carport. I use Constraint for Elevation. Instead of a foundation, which EA could have done in the first place, but, you know, 
whatever. And uh, right here, I'm just changing up this bedroom and bathroom. Um, and um, so right here, this room here is going to be the kitchen and dining, and now I've just moved away from it. So um, this is going to be the bathroom still. And um, oh, we're going all over the place, changing the color of windows. Um, I do apologize if you get dizzy right now. Um, but, uh, you know, just changing the color of all the windows and going all over the place. And um, so, yes, um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next. Um, yes, still changing colors of windows. Jeez, a lot of windows in this house. Um, that door. And okay, so adding in a few more windows in the front. And this is going to be the entrance. It has two floor uh, ceiling, just like the original house. And um, adding the door to the bathroom and to the bedroom. And, um, and adding some doors upstairs so you can get around, which is very useful. And um, I also add a sliding glass door out to the balcony on the third floor um, on both sides, which is also useful. Um, and, and also a lot of nice large windows in this house lets a lot of light in. It's a very modern design, so you would expect that. Um, so actually starting on landscaping now. Whenever I start landscaping on a base game house, I always think of how dull it's going to be. But, you know, actually, this one turned out quite nicely, even though there's no flowers, I believe. No, I do put, oh, I put in some white flowers. But that's the only color flowers I use. It's very simplistic, just green, white, and blue. I actually have just added blue flowers in. And then a bit of dirt. And it actually looks really quite nice. And some ferns. Um, and an aspen tree, I believe it is. Or maybe it's not. I think it is. A spruce tree. Um, a little giant bush thing. Um, just changing out the, um, the driveway from just concrete to a nice, um, stone pattern, also the front walkway as well, um, and uh, adding a little bit of dirt under that part and adding uh, an extra window. And um, so right now I think we're going to be working on the interior, I think. I'm not actually sure. Yeah, this is going to be the dining room and kitchen where I am right here. Um, and with the interior of this house, it was actually very difficult. I don't know how we got along in 2009 without any expansion of stuff packs. Ugh. I mean, there was just, just no content to fill this house with. I, find, I ended up using, reusing um, a bunch of furniture throughout the house um, in this interior because there really just isn't enough stuff um, in the base game. So here's the kitchen. Um, so I have a really nice island in the kitchen, which I'm actually really pleased with. Um, I also I put little bar stools on it and everything. I do change it from what it is later, um, from what it is now later. Um, but um, there's also an oven in there, um, double refrigerator, um, and I just like spun the camera weirdly. Double fridge, um, cabinets going over the refrigerators, which is quite a nice feature. Um, you'll see I just put that in, and I move the refrigerators out so the cabinet doesn't glitch over them. Um, changing the color, nice dark cabinets, and oh, there's the um, oven, or it's really a cooktop and oven, you know, the whole unit. Um, sink, dishwasher, everything you'd want in a kitchen and more. Not really. Um, there's also a garbage can there. Um, pots and pans hanging from the ceiling. A couple of mats on the floor. Now here I go with the tile backsplash, which is quite interesting. Um, it goes lime green and yeah, and that color on the countertop, which is a bit surprising to look at, but you know, it it kind of works, I guess. I like it. Um, also the kitchen, even though it's occupying the same room as it did before, I put it on the other side of the room. So I like switched the kitchen and dining room. So um, there's a lot more room in the kitchen now. So the dining room isn't as big, but it doesn't really need to be. I still fit um, a really large table in there. So, you know, you didn't really need to have that massive uh, dining room before and the little kitchen. So I've just used the space a bit more efficiently this time. Now with the kitchen table, only six of those um, eight chairs are usable. Wait, no. Yeah, six of those eight chairs are usable. The two chairs in the middle on each side actually are placed there with move objects on, and you can't actually use them. So. I do apologize for that. Um, originally, I go with a um, salmon-colored rug, which I later discard because it is disgusting. Um, and there I use the same painting four times on one wall because there just is not enough paintings in the base game to add um, extra stuff. Um, so right here, I'm just doing a little mud room behind the kitchen. This leads out to the um, back porch. Um, I add four, five of these mirrors um, with interchanging black and white colors. And I also put like a little table in there, I believe. Um, I don't know. I may do that later. Um, there's a little um, painting and some light fixtures just around the place. I changed the color of them later as well. And um, so yes, yeah, so just adding an extra window in. Um, and uh, yeah, here's the entrance to the house. Now at the entrance way, I kept it kind of simple, um, which I quite like how it turned out. I had a little wall there, 
and one upstairs um, just to make it match. I do like the entrance. It's a nice two-story look. Um, actually, right here, I'm changing the color of the lights in the kitchen. And I also changed the countertops as well. You can see here, I'm just changing them entirely. Um, I guess I quite like I like that one better, I think. Um, it looks a bit more sophisticated, perhaps. And so right here, I changed the island to um, actual island counters, so I can put bar stools on it. And I move it forward a bit. Um, yeah, I think it works a bit better. Um, you'll see I put some bar stools um, there, which I think is quite nice. So you can Sims can sit and eat there instead of in the dining room if uh, it's not a formal occasion. So right here, I'm changing the pattern on the chairs. Um, I changed pretty much all the colors in the dining room because um, I didn't like what they were. So there's the rug. Um, the rug I change massively. I use this interesting pattern here, which I quite like. I like that pattern. Um, and uh, what else do I put in here? Uh, some CD stacks. I believe I put... Oh yeah, there's a stereo there. That's all good and handy. Um, I was originally going to use that on the wall, but it's disgusting, so I don't. I end up using this pattern here, um, which I think looks quite cool. Um, so right here I'm just adding a few dotted rugs um, to the uh, mudroom area. It's not really a mudroom, but, you know, to the back door, which I quite like, uh, in alternating colors. There's a little table there by the back door with some magazines and tissues on it. And I also put a mirror on this wall here. So pretty much I'm just detailing it a bit more than I did before. And I'm um, also changing the color of the walls. Um, kind of a more yellowish, greenish tone. So I'm coming back in the entranceway because I never actually did anything in it. Um, and I used this dark tile, this black tile, um, which I quite like. And I used more of that wallpaper um, texture in on the wall there. It's kind of like an accent wall. So there's the entrance to the house. Um, I put a little table next to it. And if they had car keys in the game, I would have put them there, but they don't. So it's just a little plant. Um, I also put bookshelves there in this little nook. It kind of blocks the window, but because they're glass, you don't really see it from outside, so it's all right. And it doesn't really block any light either, so that's good. There's a little chair there with an interesting pattern on it, and a couple spotted rugs, which appear throughout the house quite a lot. Um, so here's this area in the living room, which I really like a lot. It's got these bookshelves, a lot of bookshelves. Um, these, like, built-in bookshelves um, along this whole wall in black. And I think it looks really nice. It looks very sophisticated and modern. Um, and there's a desk in there as well. There's two desks I use. Um, that's kind of like the study area where the desk is. So here's the where the TV and fireplace is. Um, you can see there's a fireplace, television, columns, and this spotted wall. I like the spotted wall paper. I think it's quite interesting. A couple plants on the other side of the television a slash fireplace, um, some lights. Uh, here, I, was gonna, I wanted to mix the couches um, to make something interesting, but there's not, there wasn't enough couches um, to mix and match. So I ended up using this couch here. Um, I changed the color, of course, of all this stuff. It looks disgusting right now. I wanted to do an L-shaped couch, but I couldn't because the coffee table that I usually do that with is from Ambitions. So um, I tried it out, but it didn't work at all. It looked absolutely terrible. So, you know, I forgot that idea. Um, so I use an interesting pattern on the couch. You can see here it's like a, um, a salmon and green color, which I actually quite like, that pattern. Um, it's quite interesting. There's a couple of old school armchairs um, as well. And there's these three little coffee tables together to make a square with a plant uh, filling in the final corner. And also a turquoise kind of teal. I don't even know what color that is. Nice rug, also a telescope, and an art easel. Um, now the art easel might not fit in in the middle of the room, but I kind of liked it there, so you know, whatever. Um, and right here, this is going to be the study area, so I'm just putting a divider in um, for a bit of privacy, and also some more wallpaper. Um, so there's a second desk. So there's two desks. Um, you know, there's a little chair there for that one, um, which gets the pattern from the couch, and the other one gets the pattern from the chairs. Um, I also put a little couch in here as well, um, a couple computers, one per desk, and a little chess set as well, so your sims can learn their logic skill, which is always useful and a little dotted rug under it as well, and also a um, patterned couch to match the one in the living room. So that's pretty much the living room slash study um, complete, which I think it turned out quite nicely, um, just adding in some light fixtures as well to light it up a bit. Um, yeah, so right now I'm just finish adding the finishing touch to the living room, which is quite a leap from the original living room, which was wood paneled and everything's brown. I mean, it looks straight out of the 70s or something. I guess the whole house was originally based off one house from the 70s. You know, but I brought it right up to date and made it look quite a lot nicer. Um, so right now I'm just changing the color of the stairs, which is not that exciting, but you have to do it. Oh, right here we're going outside, actually. Um, you know, just taking a sneaky little 
break and heading outside. Uh, originally the pool was just going to be that large. Uh, it's going to be a teeny little pool. Um, I had a trellis over this part of it as well. Um, and uh, But then I expanded it quite a lot. I made it go all the way down to the side of the house here, you can see, um, and extended the um, balcony, or the um, porch rather. And I also had a bridge over the pool, which is also very exciting. Um, right now I'm just adding the fence around the um, perimeter of the house, a new fence, which looks quite snazzy, um, a bit more modern as well. So just adding the brick into the pool, adding some nice tile on it, um, darkening. I love darkening the color of the pool. Um, I like having a nice dark blue in it. I don't like the, the aqua color that is the default color. It just, I don't know, it doesn't look as nice in my opinion. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the pool. I really like it. It's quite nice. The original house, it didn't have a pool, so this is definitely a leap ahead. Oh uh, yeah, here I'm adding the bridge in, um, which I quite like because there's no way to get off the back porch. There's no way to get to the backyard because the pool was there. So I added a bridge, which is also looks really cool, and it's functional as well, so that's exciting. So there you go, there's the bridge. Um, you just have to be careful when you're swimming. You might bang your head, you know, and faint and drown. Oh dear, let's not get into that. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm just doing the back um, decking and all the decking, actually, on all the balconies. And um, we're just going to add in the little patio as well. Um, there's a patio off to the side of the porch and a little pa uh, rim around the pool. Um, I also add some fountains in over here and some rocks and plants. There's the fountain. Oh, it's actually one fountain, sorry. One fountain just goes into the pool, looks really cool. Um, at the end of the video I have a shot of flying under that fountain, which is quite exciting. Um, here's a patio, um, there's really not much that goes on the patio, just like a picnic bench and some lounge chairs. And I'm um, just adding in some dead grass where the sun would hit it. And I'm also adding in a little play area for the children, because the original house had it, so I decided to keep it. Um, or actually, I didn't really keep it, I just, I got rid of it and then brought it back, so that's really what happened. So then just like a little play thing, I don't even know what it's called, and uh, some swings, swing set. And um, some more plants around the place, um, some little ferns, a uh, bush by that tree, I like that tree, it leans over the fence, kind of, and offers some shade. Um, so I'm just spinning around massively right here, um, and yeah, here's the bathroom. I use the same tile from the kitchen, um, which is, again, it's the same shocking tile, but it kind of works. One thing that annoyed me though was the sink had to be off-center because the counter was four wide and there's only one sink, but it's alright. Um, this is actually a full bathroom with a tub, um, it hasn't got a shower, but you know, it counts as a full bathroom. A little makeup thing, even though you probably would not be doing your makeup in the powder room, but whatever. Um, and a uh, uh, painting. Actually, <laughs> it's funny because, yeah, powder room usually, yeah, actually that would make sense. Whatever, doesn't matter. Right here I'm doing um, curtains uh, in the entrance and a uh, spiral staircase, changing the color of that. And um, there's the third floor, briefly, um, which we just saw. Um, so right here I'm just changing under all the roofs black, which is something that I like to do. Um, I'm also putting some windows here into the fake fourth floor, which doesn't actually exist. Um, it's just something of mine. Um, probably my OCD. I just like to put a black under all the roofs. Um, just because it, you know, when you're playing the game and you're like, you're looking at like a second floor, but you see like under the roof of the first floor and parts, you know, I just like it to be nice and black where you can't, you can't see into what you're not, you can't play in. You know? Where Sims can't go should be black in my opinion, but whatever. I'm spending a lot of time changing the color of these stairs here. Um, so I eventually got that done. I had some stairs out the front yard. Um, I messed around with this railing for quite a bit because the railing was glitching out and I couldn't change the color of it and I couldn't find it in the catalog, so that was a bit annoying. But, you know, I just used a different one and it was all good and well. So there's the new railing, some railings for the stairs as well. Um, you know, safety first. And some railings all around the place. So that looks quite nice. Um, I believe that's the outside pretty much finished uh, in, in terms of land. land landscaping. Um, and I'm back in the kitchen to add a few little details, um, like some utensils and a um, roll of tissue, not tissue paper, a roll of paper towels, sorry. I was looking for these knives, um, but I discovered they were from Ambitions. I thought they were from the base game, but they weren't. I was devastated about that, not really. Um, so right here I'm working on the guest bathroom on the first floor, which is purple, green, and turquoise, um, which sounds horrifying, but it's all right. Turns out all right. Um, it's right here. I do use striped wallpaper in here as well, just to make it look even more shocking. Um, there's also turquoise diamond tile flooring in here. Um, so there's the um, tile, which I do change the color of. Right now, it's really gross looking. 
Um, uh, there we go. There's the green, purple. It's actually just green and purple. Um, and I also changed the color of the wallpaper to match, which is right there. And um, it's, this is the full bathroom, tub, shower, toilet, sink, everything you need. Um, a little roll of toilet paper as well, just in case. And um, some towels um, for drying your hands off. Uh, after you use the sink and a light fixture. So this is the most shocking bedroom of the whole house. Um, it uses the same colors as the um, bathroom. It's ensuite bathroom. It uses green, purple, and turquoise. Um, so you can see the green on the bedspread, and here's this accent wall, which is green, purple, and turquoise. Um, it's, it's a bit shocking, you know. It's you know a bit different though. Um, also some bed stand, beds, bedside tables. Um, nightstands is actually what they're called. That's a technical term. Um, and some mirrors behind the um, bookcase slash, um, um, what do you call it, dresser. Um, and I also did a double rug in here. I put two rugs um, This using this interesting pattern, which I really like. Um, I used it in my last house remodel as well. I also got some black leather chairs, black leather chairs. Um, which look quite fancy and nice. So, um, just adding a bunch of plants in the corner there and some blinds over the windows. Um, you know, because it looks right out to the play area. You don't need the kids looking in it, looking into your bedroom. So, I put some blinds and curtains um, for extra privacy. You can see the double rug there. Um, one rug has a purple border and one has a green border. And they have the same pattern but going in different directions. So, that adds some interest. There's a bouquet of flowers as a painting on the wall. And um, that pretty much finishes that bedroom off. So we're moving upstairs now where I add in the master bathroom, um, which is quite essential. And um, the master bedroom and bathroom aren't actually connected, but they do have this little section of the hallway, which I walled off and put a door, glass doors to. So it's kind of all separated from the rest of the house, so it, it still counts as a master suite. Um, and also I'm just adding in some details to the hallway up here, um, some paintings and a rug as well, and um, also adding in some windows into the master bathroom because that's always nice to have. Um, just changing the color of them, and some windows in the hallway as well. Now the master bedroom is my favorite room in the house, um, which we're not doing right now because we're doing this bathroom instead, which is fantastic. Um, so up here there's just a guest bathroom, um, same as downstairs except it's got a shower as well. Um, yeah, so that's it. Pretty basic, um, you know. I just just cloning everything from downstairs and just putting it up here. Uh, same size bathroom, and um, yeah, so that's pretty exciting. Um, and also putting in some mats in that bathroom as well, which I forgot. Um, before we go to the master, which is something I'm excited to get to, we are actually, actually, what I just like, I said actually like three times there. Uh, we are actually doing the guest room, um, which is right here. Um, it's kind of like a blue and turquoise theme. It's kind of got that blue spotted bedspread, and these a lot of mirrors um, behind the bed as well. And a little sitting area over here with this couch and a uh, chair um, in this like wavy gray pattern, I guess. There's also a little stereo there and a nice piece of artwork, multiple pieces of artwork. Um, yeah, so multiple pieces of artwork, all interchanging frame colors, which you can barely see. I also to throw a bookcase over there. Now, the bookcase, I don't know if the Sims can get into the other side of the bed because the bookcase might block it, so yeah, that, that might be a thing. Um, also double rugs again, and um, some like turquoise geometric um, cube look to it, which is quite interesting. And that pretty much finishes off that bedroom. Um, and also, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I add some heather up on the roof, uh, the flat roof, which actually looks kind of cool. I do like it. Um, and adding some more windows upstairs on the third level. And um, yeah, so now we get to move to the master, I believe. Or not. We're adding a trellis there. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I just want to go to the master. Sweet. Um, oh yeah, moving the the um, mailbox, trash can, and all that other stuff. But actually, there's only two things. Yeah, I'm actually doing more landscaping now, which is fantastic. Some more trees, a um, bit of terrain painting. Um, I'm just trying to put off doing the master bedroom, probably, even though it turns out really well. Yes, here we go, finally. Um, I really like how the master bedroom turned out. Um, now, at the end, when I have the shots at the end of the house, there was a bit of a glitch, so I got a pretty tragic looking picture of the master bedroom. It's kind of more looking at the floor, but um, never mind. All the other pictures turn out very nicely. So now you can see the master bedroom in all its glory as I build it. I really like it. It's a black, green, and white color scheme in here, and I use this wood, black wood all over the place, um, on the floor, on the wall, 
It just looks so elegant. I just really love this room. Um, you can see the bed is on a stage. It's kind of on an angle here. I'm using these lights from Bitebug to light it up a bit better. The lighting was a bit glitchy. And also discovered in Bitebug these little bubble bath items and that weird bed. And a little rubber ducky, which I threw in the bathroom downstairs. It was kind of funny. Um, so here in the master bedroom, there's um, a couple nightstands. The bed is not on any wall, which is kind of interesting. But I kind of like it that way. It's a bit artistic, if you will. Um, there's a couple little lamps uh, on the bedside tables. And um, a chair, or a love seat rather, at the end of the bed, which I use an interesting pattern on. I use that pattern. And over here we have the wardrobe section, uh, which has three dressers, two bookshelves, and a mirror. Um, so that's very fancy. Um, and a little, like a little dr fake dressing nook. Um, so, because it's not really a real dressing table, it's just a dresser. I put some makeup, perfume, and a little chair there. So a sim could possibly, I mean, it looks like a sim could possibly sit there, but they can't. Also, a couple paintings on the wall here, which kind of match. A little stand-up mirror and um, a plant in the corner there. I also use a lot of sconces in this room, which makes it look very nice. Um, a little rug there, a little rug. Well, I like using these little spotted rugs all over the place. I think they kind of add some detail and they look quite nice. Um, so there's a rug there under the plant. And I'm also adding in a bunch of... Um, sconces, as I said before. So that's pretty much the master bedroom. I'm um, also adding in some um, curtains um, for privacy because that is always useful. Um, and yeah, so that's the master bedroom. We're moving on to the master bathroom now, which um, is quite small. It's actually the smallest bathroom in the house, which is kind of odd considering it is the master bathroom, but um, it still turns out quite nicely. I do like how it looks at the end. Um, very elaborate gold fixtures and fittings, um, as you'll see. So there's the bathtub on the stage, um, which is very fancy. And um, i got double sinks in here as well. I do have to flip the bathtub around. It's kind of on an angle as well, and it clips into the wall a bit, but don't tell anyone I said that. Anyway, um, there's the shower, stand-up shower, toilet. Uh, you can see the gold is already coming in. Um, and there's a uh, tile countertop, which is very nice. And some sinks with the gold taps, which is very fancy. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the master bathroom, adding in some towels um, just to add a bit of fanciness to it. Um, so yeah, there's a little nice like limey color. I don't know what color that is. It's not a towel color. And um, I'm just adding in some hand towels, which is exciting. And that's pretty much the master bathroom, which is fantastic. Um, so we're doing the kids' room now, which I actually really like this uh, room as well. I love the carpet in here. Um, it's like a blue, gray, and black, as you can see. And I use the same colors on the wall as well, which I really like. Um, yeah, so I like how this room turns out. I also use a bit of a lime green accent in here, um, besides the blue, black, and gray. Um, so you can see here there's the wallpaper. And um, the bed, I was going to do two beds in here, but it didn't look right. It was a bit too small of a room. So it's just one bed in the corner there on an angle, um, you know, for artistic value. And there's a lamp behind it, and that lamp will be lime green at some point. Um, there's double dressers, um, and uh, there's a bunch of posters over them, which I do change. Yeah, I put mirrors over them, actually. Uh, I move the posters by the bed. I can see there's a sports poster by the bed, and I also put some more on that wall. So um, there's the mirrors and the lime green lamps, which I quite like the lime green. Um, I also put a chair in, not that one though. Um, some curtains as well, curtains and blinds, um, because they're very large windows, you need some privacy. Um, yeah, I do change out the chair, there's the new chair. Um, I don't even know what pattern, oh, I just use gray. Gray patterning, very nice. Um, little nightstand, I use the round one. Um, round little nightstand, um, I don't, I put an alarm clock, yeah, I didn't remember what I put on it, but alarm clock and a plant, and um, also some posters, um, there they are. Um, similar sized frame, that's why I put them together. Also, this room I had a little nautical feel to it uh, with a lifesaver and a um, pirate chest, toy chest, and I also put a little train set on the wall and a teddy bear in the corner, if you noticed. Um, also, there's a rug on the floor for added comfort, um, even though you really should not be putting rugs over carpet, but I did that um, anyway. And um, there's a, um, a radio and a plant and a baseball and a football, you know, all those. Uh, things and also a um, lime colored uh, light fixture. So here we're doing the back deck. Um, so on the back porch, not really a porch, I'm sorry, the third floor balcony facing out of the back. There's a couple lounge chairs here, um, a guitar, um, 
a bunch of plants, which I really like. Um, it looks quite nice. It looks down over the pool. I also put a bunch of candle lighting on it um, for nice ambiance. And um, a little light fixture hanging from the trellis. Um, out the front, I don't think I really put anything out on the front. A couple of lights. Um, I do the outdoor lighting. I put some sconces outside um, so you can see them around the place. Um, yeah, just doing some porch lighting in the... Um, what you call it, the um, carport, and some lighting out on the actual porch out back. And yes, and all the lighting on the balconies. On this balcony here, the second floor, I put in some um, plants and a little chair, and I also um, put in some mats. So down here on the main por porch, pff, porch um, I put in uh, three loungers, um, a grill, and a little sitting area so you can eat outside, which is quite nice. Um, it has a little table and chairs. I also put a picnic table and some more lounge loungers on the patio later, which you'll see. And some more plants, candles, and, you know, make it look nice. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much the back porch. And you can see here's the patio where I put in um, all that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed it, um, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe because I'm always making videos just like this one. And it is, um, I love to hear your feedback. And so, yes. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll see you next time um, with another building video or Let's Play or whatever I come up with next. You never know. Um, so I think a bit of terrain paint, a bit of a rock out the back, you know, makes it look fancy. Oh, I also put in some dandelions as well. That's a bit of a premature ending. Um, I do apologize for that. But we are pretty much finishing up. It's the third floor. Um, as I said before, if you enjoyed, um, do check out my channel. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, check out my second channel where I play Minecraft and things like that. And don't forget to subscribe to both channels because that will just be so fantastic. And I'll see you next time. Bye!